Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, New England Mountains here in Call of the Wild. Uh, it's been a bit since I've been back here, and uh, I, last time I actually came here was uh, I was trying to uh, prep for a hunt here, and it was after I finished another one hunt, hunt, so I wasn't about to like jump in it. But when I did, man, sorry, distracted. That's a uh, that's really beautiful right there. Sun through the trees, man, I like that. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I was uh, finished up another hunt, and I came in here to uh, prep for this one to be the next hunt. And when I did, the uh, the missions apparently were interrupted from the last time I was here, and um, Doc and his son were chatting away, and I tried to like immediately exit out so that I wouldn't like miss anything because I wasn't recording at that specific moment. And uh, I thought that maybe it would happen when I came back in here again right now, but it didn't, so... I may have missed a little bit of a uh, um, of the mission information here. So let's see. We got ourselves a well, it's a female bobcat out there. I don't know if I'm really concerned about that right now. But uh, we are going to wow, that's just like bright. We're going to continue, I should say, try to continue on these missions and heading over towards where this uh, one says to uh, fought, let's go to the spot where the uh, first bear sighting was at. So. We're heading that way. Um, yeah, it's just all like stuff floating in the air there. Man, this uh, sunlight. Woo! -hoo. While it's beautiful, look at it. it makes it impossible to see anything. Oh, I guess I need to head this way for it. I thought I was going that way. All right, well, we're going to go this direction, divert, and uh, move on. But anyways, that's where we're heading to, is uh, the first bear sighting, and we're going to continue the missions as best as possible, but then obviously get anything else in in the uh, vicinity as we're going. So, join me. Take along. See what we get. What do we have ourselves? A little red fox out there. Looks like she's playing around. You know what? Just get something. Um, here, Foxy. Oh, there's a couple foxes out there. See if I can get a better angle on them. And, oh, it's a five male. Better than the female, that's for sure. Yeah, they're out there just playing around having fun. Till I came along. Let's see. Uh, did I just spook him? I think I just spooked him. Oh, no, I hit it. And a moose is calling out. Warning call. That's all right, Mr. Moose. I'll go over here because I got to claim a fox that I shot. Got to be ethical. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, so here's my first animal on this hunt. Little red fox. Kind of interesting how it landed there. <laughs> it's kind of weird that its head's still up. All right, let's claim it. A little bronze, because I would only been a silver. Didn't get a vital organ hit. Got it in the shoulder blade. Got it in the floof. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised it went down at all, but not too worried because it was only level five. But still, it's something. Let's keep pressing on.
a little fox that's been yipping out at me here is coming through. Uh, seems like it's a foxy day. I had uh, some moose and a uh, whitetail scream out at me. But maybe I should just try to get hurt. Like that. Alright, here's our little fox. She uh, obviously didn't go very far at all. And uh, cricked her neck while she was at it. Got better with that one though. Left long, right long. Silver. Got the girl. Yeah, we have a little teeny tiny female brown bear out here now too. Oh, not getting anything of significant value though, that's for sure. I know, I hear you. Keep it up and you're going to be having a bad day. I'm not digging the fact that I don't get to see their audio cues right now. I guess that usually means that they're like super, super close. I think it was a raccoon though. Yeah, raccoon, female, right there, someplace. Right over the hill where I can't see her. But she definitely can smell me. Take that, little raccoon who's been giving me a bunch of annoyances. Yeah, yeah, I saw the pheasant there earlier. I wasn't going to shoot a little female on the ground. At least not the time frame. I may now. Whoa, we got another one running across over there. What is that? It's another one, little level one. Trivial female. Take that. Okay, so this one, there, is, there she is. Here's the first little girl. Got her in the uh, liver. That's why she dropped so quickly. But let's go see if we can get this other one. And yes, we can. She ran a little ways. So I lay down by a tree. Skull, jaw shot. Yeah. It's money, but... It's nothing special so far. Hopefully I can get something here in this session. But we're getting close to the uh, the mission here, so. All right, we're like right about here. Let's see if they uh, give me anything, but. I trashed camp. Seems you were right, Dad. Could you please pick up the leftovers to make sure the bears don't catch the scent and come near the farm? Doesn't matter if that mess was caused by humans or bears. It's always our fault anyway. We yep. should know better. That's right, Doc. Alright, well, coming here, obviously all I got was a couple foxes and a couple raccoons. Nothing of significance. I had a few moose ah, uh, sorry, I had a few moose moose meese call out at me. Uh I saw a female moose and a pheasant, but nothing of significance. Oh, and the uh, white tail all screamed at me, but yeah, nothing else happened. So this has just been a kind of uneventful track to get here. Let's uh, proceed, though. Awesome. Thanks a lot. It may not look like it, but what you're doing is critical work, both for nature and for the safety of the people living here. The farmer mentioned one more location that they saw a bear on the other side of the river. Could you please take a look? <laughs> on the other side of the river. What river? There's so many rivers here. But yes, I'll go take a look in a second. I'm going to check around here, though, real quick. Obviously got the hunting stand over there. And no animales in my vicinity at this time frame. So, all right, let's uh, head that way. Hello, ducks.
I'll take that. I have no idea what I just got, but let's go get it. <laughs> Mallard. A gold mallard. <laughs> the best animal I've gotten so far, and it's a black brown male mallard. <laughs> that it didn't even like spot. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, oh, spontaneous opportunity shot there. Oh, could have some good eats tonight. <laughs> well, we're on a farm. Obviously doing this guy's uh, requested tasks, but uh, it's pretty cool, pretty sweet. Whoa, what do we got there? Raccoon, warning call. Where you at? There you guys are. Oh, and a bear too. Level three, six, eight, six, eight. Oh, I forgot. Single shot. Well, this guy didn't run very far from where he was shot. But I'm surprised they got him still, regardless. Little bronze. That's because I uh, didn't get anything vital. But it would have just been a silver otherwise anyway, so... That's okay, but it wasn't the one that I was initially thinking. I was looking for a blonde, but this is just a gray. But it's something. Again. Uh oh, got myself a new outpost right here. Wasn't expecting this, but I'll take it. Looks like a mission right here too. What are we at? Notice board number one, new mission available. Which is collect trash at location, harvest four mallards, harvest four white tailed deer weighing a max weight, and go to location, take five bark samples. That's actually kind of cool. That's a good little side mission there. I like that. We'll come back to that though at some point. Oh, look, there's a couple things over that direction, but those aren't the missions I'm working on. I'm heading this direction to uh, go to the next thing after the bear, picking up more trash, I think. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a pumpkin patch. What do we got here? Oh. Pheasants. Pheasants in the middle of the pumpkin patch. I don't remember. I don't think there's a pumpkin patch on like Hirschfeld or any other place like that. This seems to be something unique and new for here, but I like it. Where's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown? And this looks like a uh, barren field prepped for harvesting or planting crops. That's different as well. It's kind of cool to see that they uh, throw in all those little varieties. We got rabbit tracks, so is that what these are over here as well? Nope. Coyotes. Hunting rabbits. Wow, this is beautiful out here. I really like this. It's really nice, but for some reason, it feels like I'm like walking really low. Like, I want to be up here. <laughs> Just to, to have my height, but Hey, I'm not going to complain, but this is like some beautiful scenery, that's for sure. Oh, we have something, finally. Life. As my daughter likes to say, life. So, that's uh, not too bad. I can't tell. There's like, what? There's definitely three. Was that four bucks here, maybe? Oh, and there's some ducks on the other side over there. Uh, 180 out. Well, there's definitely four bucks in there. Man. I think I'm going to have to go around that side to get a better angle on them, though. Alright, this is kind of funny. Those uh, deer, these are their tracks. 
on this side of the water for them over there. Two nineteen. Two forty four is the biggest so far. One sixty. One ninety two. So it looks like this two forty four is the big one. And he's about two hundred yards out. Let's see if maybe we can do this here. Ah, uh, over. Got that one, finally. Bad shot the first time. Oh, I think it's probably not the best still. Oh, man. And the birds flew. All right, well, we're going to go over here to get this thing for the mission, and then I'll go on the other side there and see how well I did or not, as the case may be. More trash. I can't say I'm surprised. Good news is, once you've cleaned up that mess, the farms should be safe again. Yay. Yeah, those who don't clean up after themselves, sometimes they're the same who complain about pollution and talk about how things used to be better. <laughs> go figure. Yep, go figure. A little bit of uh, hypocrisy, I guess. Let's Thank you very much. You've really helped. Uh, looks like we got somebody right there. All right, don't panic. Find a way to carefully get away from it. If he becomes aggressive, you can also go for the kill. It's up to you. It's aggressive. Remember, you're more than experienced enough to handle it. Evaluate the situation and the bear and make the right call. It's just a level three female. Yeah. If you keep attacking, then we're going to have some words here, but I'll let you be. Little girly. All right. Let's go over there and find out what we did with that uh, deer. Assignment. Bear encounters can quickly escalate if you don't know what you're doing. Me too. I had a feeling. Anyway, you want to get rid of those food leftovers as soon as possible. Just drop them off at a nearby outpost and we'll take care of it. Good to know. I guess they're happy with the way I resolved the bear situation. I'm not shooting it. Let her be. Let her have some more cubs. Get some other ones out there. Maybe we'll eventually get a big bear. All right, no organs hit. Not the best, but it does look like it's down, though. So I'll have to find it. But it looks like over there is where I'm going to be heading. And I have a coyote over there calling my name, too. But apparently it's hiding out. doesn't want to be seen. Probably the best for you, Mr. Yote. Or Mrs. Yote, or whatever it was that I wasn't paying too close of attention on. Um, this doesn't look like a male buck. What happened to my male buck? Did I shoot twice? Maybe I shot the female over there once. I didn't realize that. Huh. This might have been the first shot that missed. It hit her instead. Oh, that's crazy. Well, we still got another male to find here someplace. Rascal, stop playing around. Got a job to do. Come on. Let's go find this deer. Man, come on, dog. Move it. Well, here's the deer. Um, it's, uh, landed in a very, un, uh, 
dignified position and really kind of makes it hard to see the, uh, the antlers on it. But, uh, oh, well, let's go ahead and claim it and see what I did. I don't know if I, I don't know if that one shot I saw at the shoreline was the female or this one. Maybe the, I see myself and nope. Oh, man, crazy shot. Look at that. That's kind of cool how that is positioned there, though, the angle of it. But no, bad shot all around. Uh, it's a bummer. I'm surprised it went down still, but man, would have been a gold. Would have been a gold. But there you have it. Man, I love these covered bridges here, too. One of the things that's really special about New England. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Where are you at? Yeah, oh, that's a female right there. But it was the male that just called out. You on the other side of that hill? That's another female. Maybe I'll get lucky here. They're attentive. They're going to flee before that male shows up, huh? That's probably the male right there. Right there is male. Come here, Buck. Come on, Buck. No, turn around the other way. Come on back. Ooh, there's another one right there, though. A couple of them. Poke your head over. Will that get your attention? Oh, man, yeah. Oh, he's coming in, he's coming in. Come on, get a uh, stop trotting, stop trotting, stop trotting. What in the world? What did I hit there? The tree? And they're gone. Oh, oh, oh. Do I have a, an opportunity? Maybe, 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 maybe. Got one. Look at that. Through the trees. Oh, redemption. A little bit of saving grace. But as I was going to say before I uh, go down there and claim it, I'm going to have to cross over to go to that spot up there anyways. But I love these uh, New England bridges here. Definitely what helps to make the... Uh, the setting for the, that part of the country but all right let's go let's go get this guy maybe i get a little bit of redemption i think i might be got a, a lung on him stop running the trees uh look at that that shot vital organ hit and it was right over here it did not go far at all that was a lucky lucky shot after that missed one completely but this should be uh, bigger than the last one i got as far as score wise because i don't think i messed this one up and still scored the silver, but everything was proper on this one, so right lunged it at uh, 129 yards through the trees on the run. That's I feel good about that. That's a little bit of a redemption. Although I wish it would have been the other one, the, the bigger one, but I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Let's head over there to get that uh, spot claimed up. Well, as per the conversation that they mentioned about dropping the uh, trash off at an outpost, it looks like that's where I'm heading here. And I get to claim myself a new uh, cabin. Sweet. And I uh, heard some raccoons out here and a moose out here, so it's another good lodge to be uh, hunting from, it seems like. And we'll just hop the fence. Claim the outpost. And then we'll go drop off the trash. Looks like the trampoline that's in my backyard. Almost exactly. With the uh, um, safety net and everything. 
So, Trev, you know, Hope and I were, were talking about you the other day. Uh, like I told him, I sometimes wish you didn't live on the other side of the country. Don't you miss home? Home. It's a fuzzy concept for me. You always had the one. Layton will always be my home, but this is my second home. I'm closing in on 20 years, and I'm happy here. There's no such thing as coming back in a situation like mine, not after so long. It's not like my old Leighton life is still there waiting for me. I'd still need to start over from scratch. I understand, I really do. I'm just worried about the reserve. I can't find anyone good enough to take over. I want to get that sorted out myself soon. What about me? I never know. thought that's what my job was. Regular people just say, I wish you'd call more often. I miss hanging out with you, son. You're right. I haven't called enough, and I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you, you have a good point. We both know that being a warden isn't really a job you can do remotely. And then life happens, and you procrastinate. But tell you what, you're almost here. We'll have a good time then. Aww. Kind of sad. It's a little bittersweet. Kind of feels like me and my dad, though, because we're on opposite coasts from each other as well. And uh, don't really call and talk as Sometimes much as used to. But. environment isn't the most obvious one. In the last few years, for us, it's been an invasive plant species called perennial pepperweed. I know that one. Tough bastard. Native to Eurasia. Introduced to North America by accident. It's become a pest all over the country. Yeah. Some areas of the reserve are affected now, too, so we're recruiting volunteers to manually remove them. Better do that now before the populations become too large. Can I count on you, too, my friend? I'll of course. I've tagged the most affected areas on your hunter mate. Of course. Be glad to help out. Feels like what I've been doing on the angler for uh, the warden over there on Golden Ridge. So, yes, I will, I will definitely help out with the plants. Make a difference. Whoa. Let's see if it can get to come over the hill or if I've spooked it way too much already. It may not sound like a very glamorous task, but believe me, invasive plants tend to suppress native species. Studies show that without proper control, they reduce natural diversity, wildlife habitat, even water quality. Yeah, I've seen the damage the perennial pepperweed can do. It's highly competitive and very good at adapting to a wide variety of factors and soils. Our state agencies have been coordinating local efforts and we've been trying to educate the population. I get it. It can be hard for the layman to grasp. How can your own little patch of land cause major stress to the whole ecosystem? I'm sure we'll find out more. Where is this raccoon at? Where? There he is. There he was. Reminds me. I went on the internet the other day and I watched that video you made on invasive species. Well, it it was really well made and very clear. Good job. <laughs> oh, you did? Well, that means a lot. Thanks. Glad you found the button for the internet. It's funny. All right, let's see what we got. Got a gold blonde! Ah, oh, it's better. It's uh, what I was looking for earlier. Nice. Look at him. So cute. And I like the color. It's one of my favorite colors. But that's, uh, we're finally getting someplace. We're getting some better uh, scoring animals, um, which is good. But, all right, let's uh, see if we can head over two miles away. Wow. All right, um, looks like I got to go uh, do some traveling. Man, sometimes getting to these things is just a major, major pain. But I decided to do a couple de detours real quick, um, claim a couple spots before I head over. Well, you could see way over there. Um, but let's claim this.
Got some nice scenery out here. Look at those open fields and everything. So that's going to be my next spot, which is going to be another outpost. Um, then I'm going to fast travel back to another outpost and get another lookout and see if maybe I get over there. I don't know. It might be in my session here today, but we'll find out when I get to these points and how much time frame I got left. Oh, we got a nice big moose over there. Anything else? No. A oh, couple big moose. That's still the bigger one, though. All right, well, this is my Argus again. Not the best weapon for me but ah I'm surprised that guy stuck around as long as he did okay well I'll need to go over there and see if I got anything with them but that was nice to see well I hit something but not well. Um, I think this was the first one. Because I don't think the other one that was over here even got scratched. Yeah, the uh, bleed rate's low. I have a feeling it's probably going to go to prey. It's not shown up on the map as being down yet. And I think I may just let it be and come back and get it later when I can get a better shot on it and hopefully uh, actually claim it properly. So I'm going to press on. Um, I'll leave it be and head towards uh, the next um, or head towards this uh, next part of the mission. Wow. It's a relic of the lavish lifestyle some people enjoyed in the Roaring Twenties. Or... Maybe a symbol of human vanity. Huh. Well, this is pretty unique. I thought this was going to be another outpost, but it's not. <laughs> it's just uh, castle ruins. Bear tracks. Wow, that's going to be pretty big. Guess you just never got around to finishing it. Or him, or whoever it was there that was on that uh, message thing. Interesting. Well, that's going to be an outpost up there. Uh, or, I mean, lookout, and... Hopefully I'll find an outpost closer to that that I can get to. Man, New England's amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I want to live there. Is that controlled falling or what? Yeah, I see you. 
Um. No, come back, come back. Rascal's good that it can smell blood through water. Anyway, so that wasn't quite what I was expecting to be uh, doing at this specific moment. Um, but we'll go get it because it looks like it might have gone down. Where are you at? There you are. Oh. Oh. Well, that wasn't exactly the uh, best angles for me to get in that, oh. so I'll just let him be. Uh, hello. Oh. They're everywhere over here. And they're coming. No, I thought it reloaded. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Well, after a bit of tracking and uh, some crazy uh, bird shooting, finally found this guy. But let's claim him and see what we got with him after all. A little bronze would have been a silver, but yeah, I mean, I'm surprised it even went down, honestly. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Like always, I'll take him. Here, a raccoon nearby. But, over here we have some meese. Got level four. I wonder where the raccoon's at, though. Not, not that I'm going to want to get him. Unless it's, like, super huge. Yeah, I don't, I'm not worried about it. He's uh, not the best angle, but I think I'll have, I'm going to try to give it a chance here. Give it a shot. Pun intended. All right. Let's see here. And. Uh, not good. Oh, but that might have saved it. Looks like it's actually going down a little bit. Nice. And there's that raccoon that I heard. Oh, wait, that's a quail. Are you kidding? Did I get a couple pheasants back there? 
Oh, looks like I'm going to have to go back and do some double checking. Wow. Got another one over here. Man. He's going down slowly. But I guess we'll have to go claim him as well. Alright, so here's the first big boy. Wow, he's pretty sweet. And he scores a gold. So I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, looks like I got him the first time, first hit. So that's good. The second hit. Not so much. So he was going down because of uh, the right lung. Single lunged him. Sweet though. Take it. Okay, let's go back and see if we can find that other moose. And then go back and see what those... It looks like where I shot the pheasants at. Let's see if I got any of those. I guess they're worthwhile. There's a female. Calm, calm. Another female. Oh, there's the buck. That's probably the one that cried out to me. He didn't go very far. Little tiny guy. But he came in my view, so... We'll add him to the, the collection. Tallies, I should say. Guy like the blood in the water. But hey, looks like I uh, got a vital hit on that uh, level 4 moose back there as well. So, should have this one pretty uh, well saved as far as a max score as possible. So that's good. And there's this beautiful, beautiful buck, or bull, <laughs> right here. Nice position to land in too. I like that. I like that a lot. And he scores another gold. Got him with the lung on the first shot. Still got a second shot on the pelvis as well. So he was going down one way or the other. But nice. One of New England's scenic railroads, especially loved by families. It's an easy and accessible way to discover all the landscapes our reserve has to offer. Well, I wasn't expecting to find this here. I thought this was, again, going to be another uh, um, lodge, outpost, but cool. But anyways, I was heading back uh, to try and get those pheasants and stuff, and I think that's where I'm going to probably end up calling it because uh, my time's pretty much up here. So grab those, and then I'll bid you all adieu. Okay, I didn't see anything, but man, that sounded awful like that was an actual train up there. That was loud. That was crazy, though. I'll have to try and check to see if there's one that's going to be on this uh, reserve. Okay, so we finally made it back to this area. Let's see if Rascal can find anything around here.
Oh, wow. I did hit something. What is this? Alright, well, this is too much blood to be tracking. Dropping too slow to be a pheasant. All I could think of is that this is another moose, maybe? I don't remember shooting it. There's a tree in the middle of the track down there. <laughs> I don't think that'd be there if a train came through. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow, it is a pheasant. <laughs> that is the longest blood for a pheasant that I've ever seen. The bird traveled forever. Is that a pheasant or is that a quail? That's a pheasant. <laughs> One single shot out of a shotgun with my bird shot. It's all it took. Normally they get pelted like crazy. But this is a single shot on it in the wing and it took forever for it to drop. That's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, though. Uh, anyways. I don't know. There, it looks like there's going to be some more over there. I'll go double check, but for now, just in case there's not, this is where I'm going to call it. Uh, it's been a long, weird session. Um, got a little bit of the missions done. I got some other animals claimed here and there. Um, it's been interesting to say the least but i hope you all had fun um till next time when we come back again uh wish you all the best happy hunting you know as usual comments thumbs and subs so until then take care and happy hunting everyone bye all right dog dog get out of my face seriously Man, why do you got to be so annoying? Move. <laughs>